All right, Snake Envy, beautiful Southern Arizona. We're here with John from Morphet Reptiles, Jason, of course. So, John, the other night, you were dragging, cussing the snake gods. <laughs> we were having a little more success than you were on a road cruise. You're about to give it up. And then. And then. <laughs> Got a coral. This is what uh, rejuvenates you on a night like this. So a southern Arizona coral snake. For those familiar with the southeast species, these are obviously a lot smaller. They tend to have varying shades of white bands instead of yellow. But in the 30 years you guys have been coming to Arizona, how many of these have you seen? This is only my third. That's my third. The third or fourth. And were they all rode or did you hike some of them? Um, all, uh, road. all road yeah there are people who will spend years flipping hiking trying to find these guys and so uh, it's pretty amazing when you see them on the road but John tell us a little bit about uh, we want to be very 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 clear this is a kids don't try this at home moment we don't necessarily recommend handling a highly venomous species but why do you feel safe in doing so well couple reasons I mean by one the first one is they're just by nature very uh, very docile snakes they're not aggressive they're not like the the Easterns or the Texas corals that are that are actually aggressive snakes they're um, they're docile like a, a rubber boa um, two they are tiny um, their heads are, are small I mean they're there's they're small like a baby red milk um, very small mouths and um, they don't have a, lot, a huge venom yield so even even if they if they did bite um, I mean it's not a it's not like life-threatening there's always a difference between potency of venom venom yield right. and these guys definitely very potent but a tiny 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 head yep. Which means I, tiny, tiny venom glands, very tiny mouth. I know one person that's been bitten by one of these, <clears throat> and they were screwing around with it, irritating it, and it got him on the back of the hand. And he didn't seek any medical attention. Um, and but he says he doesn't remember like the next 12 hours. And his friend said he was just kind of in the back seat, tripping out, hallucinating <laughs> for about 12 hours. But, uh, but yeah, don't. Uh, you know, we definitely don't advocate hold free handling venomous reptiles um, unless you're experienced in doing so. Um, but this is this is what we this is what we do with these. I don't even recommend holding a venomous animal. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, we we clearly don't general, recommend like, this, but I haven't held rattlesnakes on yeah, these adventures for yeah. so many years. I can't remember. I don't the last even time tell I, rattlers. Yeah. And you can probably see I'm still being very cautious with it. I'm not going to let that nuzzle into my hand like I would a hog nose, because you just don't know. It might want to nibble, yeah. and so I'm, I'm I was still guiding it and and making sure that it's um, that it was that it was safe. Very cool find. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. thank you.